Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So in the last episode we defeated, uh, with a quite a lot of effort actually, the um, Chaos Guardian, which I sometimes call Dragon because it looks like a dragon. Anyway, so now we've got to do something with those shards and one of the problems I was finding is I haven't actually got enough nether stars. So let's go and find out how we get more nether stars. So one thing I've done is I have come in here and I have got a stabilised spawner in the middle here. And the stabilised spawner has got in it, uh, we can actually turn it on and have a look. I have to be a bit careful when I do this. In fact, it might be a good idea just to shut this one down. Because I don't want to be pushed across there. And then we can, this is a stabilised spawner and it's actually, it doesn't tell you what's inside it, looking at this. Um, but it contains, oh, there's a wither up there. I have to deal with him as well. Um, it can, it contains wither skeletons. So we right click this over here, get out again, because we don't need to be in while it's doing this. Like that, and turn on the fan. And this will spawn wither skeletons fairly quickly like that. And they'll get ground up pretty quickly too. And we'll end up with a lot, a lot of heads, as you can, as you will come along here, we'll see heads coming in here, probably, let's see, it's already got two since the time I've been here. Um, the rest of this is basically turned off, so I put some lights in so I didn't spawn the others. Now, there are different... I better get out of here because it's too loud to talk. Um, so we can let that run. And you can get a spawner by using a, one of the cores. So a Draconium core will give you the lowest level. Wyvern will give you the next level. Uh, now with Draconium core, let's go and get one. Let's go to the nether and pick one up. It doesn't really matter which one I do. Let's go to the... I've got another over this side here. So there are spawners around here. So let's... Let's rest see. Let's see. Uh, like that. Of course, there are blazes around here. There's plenty of blazes. And there's um, all sorts of spawners around here. All these, all these uh, XP balls lying around. I don't know. Don't ask me. Just pick them up. So, for example, over here is a spawner. Here's a spawner. Okay. So what you'll need to do is to pick it up. I want the draconium core in my hand here like this. So just, just go down and right click it like that. You picked it up, it's as simple as that. And pick up those bits as well. I've actually got the item dislocator turned off. What did I get then? I actually got with skeleton skull, which is pretty good because they're fairly rare. So let's go back home again now. Um, as you can see, there is another spawner over here, which I could of course now move, but where I want it to be. So. Here is where base is. Oh, there's... <laughs> Somebody shouldn't be in here. Let's go and just get him. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. So in here, we'll, we'll be getting more of these, but they're not coming in as fast as I'd have liked them to be. So let's go back home. A bit quieter. So in the short time we've been away, I guess we've already got a few more of these. So with all these weather skeleton skulls, let's just right click this. I've got Jump and boost on it. Let's have a look. How many have we got in here? 13. So we've got 14 in total, which is quite good. We could take those with us. And we can then go and build a wither builder. If, I'm not going to do the rest because you can look it up on uh, JEI. But the setup is a little bit more complicated than I had. So we'll let's have a look at the setup. So I set up one over here. And in here we should have, oh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure why he died. There was a wither, there was a wither here, like this. And on the very bottom of this here, I've got a wither builder. Let's just turn this on. I have to go under north, underwater to do this. What have you, what? I'll just come along here and right click this. And then we'll turn it, you see it's set with a pulse here like this. And let's highlight the way, oh, I've got the working area. Let's just uh, let's get rid of this guy because it's going to be a nuisance. Now, I probably need to change the, the hand for this one. So in here, we've highlighted the area, I hope. Oh, I can't, yes, I think so. Yes. So this is the working area, this yellow bit. So then all you need to do is to place the... This is tinted glass from Mograni Utilities. Just place a block of it all the way around. Uh, and including... So the wither, the wither build is one block below here like this. Okay, and but on the top, put two layers. So instead of having one layer, you just put two because the wither quite often jumps up. So in in my back here, I've probably got some stuff. We can reach all of this anyway. So let's just uh, 
stabilized board. Let's move that out of our hand here. Come along here and open up this chest. And you'll see I've got plenty of weather skeleton skulls in here. Click some more. And I've actually not got enough soul sand, but it doesn't matter. And there's two ways to do this. I can automate it completely and just not do anything. But I quite like doing it manually. <laughs> that sounds daft, I know. Let's just do this. Let's move this to my offhand and then take the, the Supremium sword. Press the button here. So this is set to pulse. So that now creates a weather, as you can see. It's going to do... It's going to do one heart of damage, but we don't care because that's going to be done. Oh, we've got some other guys around here as well. Get, those get, rid get rid of them. In fact, let's turn on the activator. So come back here and then simply right shoot him. A couple of shots. And then three shots later on, I'll have picked him. I'll have got him. So, and also at the same time, I've actually got three Supremium Essence. So I like to get the Supremium Essence. There's going to be probably more phantoms around. So all I've been doing is just right clicking this like this. Waiting, I could actually kill him with with the draconic staff of power in about two hits, but I would like to get the Supremium Essence because it saves a lot of time. <laughs> One. Like that. The other way to do it is to simply automate it. So here is a mob grinder. And this mob grinder has got actually it's got a speed upgrade and tier upgrade and a range upgrade. So if we highlight the working area of this one, you'll see it's much bigger than it needs to be. I only needed really uh, two blocks or something like that. Maybe even just a one block one would do like that. So this is activated with a redstone signal. So at the moment, this redstone signal is turned off. Let's turn it on like that. And then we can come along here. And, well, actually I'm pressing the button. Let's just press the button and see what happens. Uh, in fact, I might as well turn off the area while I'm doing this as well. Let's just hide the area. So we can see what, what's going on here. And he forms. And he's ground immediately. And in this chest, I'll get the nether. So I just don't get, I just don't get the supreme essence when I do this. That's the only difference, really. Uh, but of course, then I have to change the way this runs. Because at the moment, I've set it up to run like on a pulse. But if you don't want to run it on a pulse... Let's come over here somewhere and get the thing. Where has it gone to? Hard to see and underwater. I think it's here, yes. You can change this to run, ignore it, and it'll just produce a wither skeleton every time like that, as you can see. In fact, I think... It might, sometimes it produces even two. Actually, actually I wanted to turn it off. In fact, it did produce two, as you saw. So you, this way you end up, I'm going to just... Just turn off the area of effect. I can't see where it is. There we go. Hide the area. If I haven't got enough, so <laughs> it won't work. So, it, so it's going to put those. Right, as you saw, it, it's it's now stopped. So I prefer to run it the other way. It'll have run out of um, soul sand, I think. So we'll look. Yeah, it's run out of soul sand. In fact, I've got. Four weather skills and schools in here. Probably they were put in before it started to do this. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. And that's how you get lots of weather stars very quickly. As you can see, we got four in a very short period of time. So that's the way to do I think that's the way to do it. What's happened here? <laughs> somebody's, somebody's got stuck in the... I was looking for a villager. Anyway, a distraction. So now let's go down and finish off what we've been doing with the chaotic stuff. Because you need a lot of, uh, oh yes, here's a spawner. But this is a stabilized spawner, but it won't spawn anything. The reason it won't spawn anything is because I, I moved it and I lost the mob that was inside it. But what you can do, we haven't got any in here at the moment, but let's go and have a look in the system and have a look at draconian evolution. So you'll see in the, when you go, you'll get some mob souls. So these look like this. So I've got two zombie mobs, but uh, here I've got probably some wither skeletons too. This will be a magna cream, this will be, uh, actually I'm not sure which one's which, oh these are endermen, yes. And here's some slimes. So, and I've also got a guardian. <laughs> I, went, I went and attacked one of those guardian bases, we'll have a look at that some other time. So there we are, that's quite handy. So, and all, you can control this with the redstone signal when they're on, oops, let's 
get that out of my off hand. I don't need this in my off hand now. In fact, I can get rid of some of this stuff if I can get rid of it out of my off hand. So I don't need that. In there. We'll put it in this, this hand anyway. So this is the one I picked up and this is not stabilized. So if I come along here now and just get a lever, I've actually got a lever in here. Got four levers, just one will do. If I put it down now, it'll actually spawn blazers. Well, I don't want to do that. So over here, we've still got this run, running. As you can see, let's go and have a quick look at how many we've, we've got over here now. In fact, that guy should have been pushed. We've got 40, plus these experience pulls. I'm pretty sure this, is, this one's on. Yeah, it is on, so it should be pushing them over there anyway. Sometimes they get stuck, as you can see, like that. They're going in very fast anyway. So yeah, as you can see, we're going to get lots of another starts. So that was one of the that was one of the things I needed to do because we're going to need a lot of um, myelin cores and draconic cores. The recipes of these, if you don't remember what they are, let's have a look. It's one another star plus four draconium cores. This makes a, a wyvern core. And the other one, the Draconic Core, is worse <laughs> in terms of materials than for the recipe for this. It's one of the star plus four Wyvern Core, so that's five Nether Stars to make one of these, plus these Awakens uh, ingots, which are also not bad. Now, to upgrade the Draconic Fusing Crafting Injector, which we need to do next, let's have a look at the recipe, the uses of this here. You'll see we need these large Chaos Fragments, plus a Dragon Egg. And plus four dams. Well, the dams are neither here nor there these days, but the chaos fragments are fairly good. So in order to get 10 of these upgraded, which we need, we need 40 large chaos fragments. So that's basically just under five shards, which we need to do that. So let's take these out of here and start to upgrade. I'll only do on my camera, and then the rest we can do by us another time. So here I've got a, a large chaos fragment. I don't want in there. I think that was for something else. So we put this in here, and then we need to go and put. We need to split these into ten. So I need ten of these. It's a bit awkward at the moment, I think. So we need four, four of those, and we need one egg, which I've got here. Let's get everything out of the way so we can do it properly. Shards, four diamonds. Yeah, that's right. And then the large one goes. Then oh, that's right. I think that's all we need, isn't it? Let's double check it. Four diamonds. Yeah, that's fine. So we can then go and put these into into this into here because you obviously need draconic in order to be able to get upgrade to chaos. So that should now be ready. We can then craft this to be, get our first fusion and crafting core. As you see, it doesn't take very long. It's already gone up to a few, quite a few percent, and now it's already starting the craft itself. And here we have our first chaotic fusion crafting injector. Fantastic. And we get a quest completed for that. So I'm going to put this one back over here now, and then take the next one, and just repeat this process until I've got them all 10 done. So I'll be back in a minute when they're all done. Right. They're all done, fantastic. Next thing I would like to do is actually look at this. What I want to check is whether or not, I've got a, I've got a Wyvern pickaxe here with silk touch on it. What I would like to do is to check whether or not this will actually work. I keep the um, enchants when I upgrade it, or I have to remove the enchants, that's the, the test. So in order to upgrade this, we need what we've got in our hand here. Uh, we need four netherite. Now I've got to split these up. At the moment, everything's in stack mode. So let's just do it like this to start with. I'll take this. So those are the ingredients that we need in order to upgrade this. So let's just do them. I should really empty out the hot bar totally to do this, but we'll just do it like this. Because what that means is that it saves a bit of effort. So that should be ready to upgrade now. It's not quite. What am I missing? To have four. Um, strange. Let's look. Oh, maybe I need a draconic core as well. So look. 
Oh, I need an energy, con draconic energy controller. I didn't not have that to it. Yes, I did. Look, so that was the, the last one of these items. Pretty done. The hot bar, of course, would be sensible. Now it should. Now we should be able to get this to work. So let's craft this into a draconic pickaxe. What I want to check is whether or not it keeps the enchant. If it doesn't, then I've got to remove all the enchants from the stuff that I've already got and put it on again afterwards. Well, that's not such a difficult thing to do. It doesn't take very long in order to do this. Okay, let's have a look. And it has retained the silk. And as you see here, it has retained silk touch. Fantastic. So that means we can then start to upgrade the ones we really want to upgrade, which is the bow. So let's have a look at the uses of the uses of the bow here. So we need six um, awakened draconium plus a chaotic energy control and a chaotic core. Let's have a look at the recipe for the chaotic controller. So that's four small shards. So in other words, that's basically half a large shard, which will produce more of these. Then we need the conic energy controllers and the conic core. So we only need those to make this one. Um, and it's a crafting recipe. So I maybe I've already prepared that. Yes, I have. Look, there's, those are the bits that we need for that. These are large shards. I think that's what I needed. Hold on a second. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just go make craft one. It might be easiest. Let's come along here and just craft a draconic one. So we needed the uh, chaotic controller. Draconic energy. No, the draconic. Yes, one here. Chaotic energy controller. So it's a crafting recipe that so you can set this up without having to have the materials. Uh, so let's just craft one of these. I probably need two, but we'll start with this one. So, you get, but first of all, you have a look at what we actually need in order to do this. So we've got sixteen draconic cores. We needed one uh, draconic core, draconium cores, draconic four wyvern cores, which means we need five with another stars. Plus, and I've already got some of these energy controllers available, so that's uh, also saves a bit of resources. So let's just, well, I've already done it in the past. Let's just start this, and you'll notice here I've actually got a chaotic core. And you can also program this without actually having to have it. So what's it doing? Did I click start on this? I always forget whether I've actually started it. Oh no, it's working, but we are short of no machine found. Okay. Haha. <laughs> right, so I needed to make a draconic core. That's one thing we do need to do. And it they should I've put in a pattern here in this in this crafter. So we should get the materials here for that, which we have got. I think that was I think it was just half of those. Let's just let's go and set these up. I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, it needs another star in, in the middle here. So let's just set these to single item. So they all should be single item now, so it makes life a bit easier. Is that all we need for this? Yes, good. So we can make our first draconic core. So we've got now we've got this one so we can now come back over here and then put actually I've already got five of these then we can then put this back into the system here um so if i put it in the system directly i well do use this put this one in here in the wrong one this chest in here because it will then automatically take this out so i've got some of these already prepared as you can see so then that crafting recipe should complete it has done so now we have got stored four wife of course four other stars and it's the rest of it stored so did it actually make the ingredients in here? Let's go back to the front. So what we wanted was a uh, chaotic energy controller, wasn't it? Oh, it didn't make it. Let's tell it to start this one again. It's missing this draconic energy controller. Why? Oh, hold on. I'm sure we've got the rest of the stuff for that one. Have I? Maybe I haven't actually programmed it. I'm thinking about it. Now that's all done. That's that one. Maybe I have to cancel this recipe that we've got in here. Let's cancel it. Okay, so then we've... Chaotic energy control. I better cancel all. I'm start again. <laughs> Just here, dear. So what we wanted was a chaotic energy controller. 
that's actually different than um, we needed this one, didn't we? Let's start this. So we've got everything we need for that now. So we can should be able to get it straight out like that. And then the chaotic core, if we start this one here, we can do this as well. I'll show you how to do that now, to actually program something that you haven't got. So for example, this was the recipe for the chaotic energy controller. I've also got a recipe for small chaos fragments, uh, which is very straightforward. Let's clear this. So let's say we wanted to make the chaotic core again, just for the sake of doing it. Actually, I want this. I want the recipe for this. Not the best place to do. We'll do that over here. So we should be able to see this one coming in fairly quickly. This chaotic core that is. So we look for the recipe for this. Uh, we'll click the right button here and press the recipe. Then you can actually press plus on here. It says it's going to. It's yellow, which means it can't move all the items. Okay. This is the way it sets it out, but that's not correct. What we want is actually four of these things. So we've got four already here, and it needs four uh, ingots of awakened draconium and four large chaoses. So what we can do is we can simply remove these by shift left clicking them out of the way like this. Let's get rid of everything. Maybe we'll just keep that. So we want four cores like that. So you can take four cores, click it in, four ingots like that. And then we get rid of this one. Now we can put in four in here. Let's just take one of those away that right so that's actually the recipe that we need and then you can click plus on here and it creates this recipe like this then I go and put this recipe into into here and it should make the stuff for us so let's put the ingredients that we've got back in here um, I think I need I think this was for the chaotic but we need two anyway so let's just see if we can do this chaotic controller yeah core I mean So we need 16 nether stars, 40 diamonds. I think we've already got a few of those. 20. Some of this must be already made because it's got two craft. Oh, it's got four available cores here. Let's start. Well, I have, of course, which is going to make a big difference. It's actually one stack of diamonds. I know that. 240 draconium ingots. So it's fairly expensive in terms of this. Uh, and five large chaos. That's basically stuff. So we could, that should be made. And the output for this will come into this chest here. As you can see, so we've got the bits we need for that. Uh, in fact, oh, oops, I missed, I missed. Try again. We've got to wait a bit because we need to make four of these um, draconium cores before we can start. So it's producing the draconium cores to start with. I think we need one more set. There we go. That should be. Yeah, that's the, the right amount. So I shall quickly make up the uh, draconium draconic cores and come back in a second. These are really quick to make, so I'm just going to do the, the, rest, the last two on camera like this. Just click craft. They do stack at the bottom, and I did set these to stack mode to start with. It made life a bit easier in this case. So we've now got these four draconium cores. So now we can actually make from that, let's have a look at the uses of these, and we should be able to make these. So what we need is a large chaos fragment, plus uh, we need, actually we need 10 items in here, don't we? So we need... Okay, four ingots. So I've got four ingots. I don't think I've got enough. Tell you what, let's go back over here. We need another four ingots. Maybe they're in here already. Or maybe I have to, sorry, wrong place. Maybe I have to put these back into here. Let's put them back into the system here like this. I'm not sure if I'm doing this in the right place because that's what the first recipe was. So now it should be doing this crafting. So I'm expecting to see five large fragments and the rest of the ingredients coming into this chest here like this. So that should be in here. Yeah, indeed, that's right. That's how I expect to do it. I should have removed the stuff from this chest. We <laughs> used an empty one. My bad, sorry. <laughs> so now we're going to make two of these things. So we need two large fragments that should stack together like that. So that's what we're going to make. So we need, let's just, we need to split these into four. We need four, so we're making two of each. So let's do that. Doesn't matter which order we do these in. And the same with these. Okay, and then the last one is uh, large chaos fragments. Have I got this right? Let me just double check the recipe again because I cannot remember.
four 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 yeah okay oh yeah i've got enough sorry i'm we needed someone missing hold on a second i'm missing something is it the chaotic controllers i need in this one no four four That's right, isn't it? Can I not craft this? Oh, I must be missing something, sorry. You probably know exactly what I'm missing. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's probably better going back to this one. So we need... Oh, I need 10 in order to make one of these... Care. Oh, I mean 12, I mean. Oh, sorry. I, that's going to be a lot of work. Tell you what. I shall be back when I've made an extra two. Oh, I didn't spot that. I'm very sorry. So I had to build two more of these chaotic, uh, chaotic fusion crafting injectors. Let's get this right one done. So I've put the extra ingredients so we can now craft the chaotic course. Lots of materials, actually. I obviously made a mistake. I said 40 large chaos fragments. We need 48. Uh, that was a mistake. This one's going to take a while, though, so it needs a lot more power. Let's have a look at the recipe of this again, just to be sure. Yes, it needs 100 million um, OP. Uh, so it's going to take a while. So we'll come back in a second when that's finished. So eventually these are completed. So now, oh, a lot, a lot. Let's have a look at this stuff. The recipe for the bow. Let's just have a look at the bow, first of all. So one wyvern court. In fact, it's probably best actually go and put this into a pattern and then put the pattern on the on the other one so we've got this quest completed chaotic core which is great as it happens tough one um so look at the let's go to the pattern recipe i've only got a few patterns left i had to make some uh ingots as well so let's have a look recipe for the the uses of the bow here and we can click this into place like this so that will give the materials that we need what i've been doing is we need just double check this one I think bow one two three four five six ingots I think that's correct but if you don't want six you can just come along here like this get rid of these and click this one and then add six to it so we've got six and set that so that's how that's going to work as well I'll leave the rest of it is in here so I'll take this and we're going to put this into the crafting one into this place here. I've had to make the other injectors as well. That was the other other one I did. Let's put this bow into here. And then let's we've actually got the bow in our hand. So we'll we'll put the bow into the inventory here and then we can actually craft the thing. So let's have a look at the chaotic bow. And we can craft one of these. And I'm missing actually it says I'm missing a bow which is not the case at all. So <laughs> ah Tell you what we'll do. Since I've got the bow, now let's just get it out actually before I forget. We'll just modify modify the recipe a bit. Because so, it wants the bow. But the bow's slightly different because we've got uh, enchants in it. So let's just take this one out of here. And then come back here and modify this recipe. Or oh, fluid one, don't want the fluid. Let's modify the recipe. Let's remove the bow from the recipe like this. And get rid of, shift click it off. And then we can update this recipe. In fact, I have to put this in first because you can put the bow back in again. Like that. And then update this recipe because we've got the bow. And it, really what we want is the other bits to come out. Uh, in fact, the chaotic cause we'll need to put in and we'll also need to put the chaotic energy controller into the system. Otherwise, it won't come out. So then we can actually, oops, jump around. Put this recipe back into here like this. Now we should be able to get the ingredients out. Because it's a processing recipe, we don't care that much. So we should now be able to craft one of these. And the ingredients should come into this chest. And I, as you may have noticed, I've actually got this stuff already cleared out. Ooh. What happened, cause I think this was for something else. I think this was to make. Um, what it was to do was to make some uh, more cores for the others for the next thing up. I, th I wanted some more energy controllers. We've only got one. I wanted to make three. So we need. Let's have a look. So we need one of these. Six, six ingots of. Oops. 
That's not right, is it? Let's try again. So we have to split these up this time. So I need to split them. I'll tell you what, let's move this. Let's put the stuff that we can actually put in here. So that goes into here. This goes into here. And then we need to split these into six. That's five. Gets rid of the... Uh, well, actually, we need the bow. Let's put the bow in the thing here. Let's put the bow in the top. And then we should be able to put the six ingots into the other places. This one I know we can do with 10. Obviously we need 12 injectors in order to make the, the chaotic ones work. Yes, indeed we can. Craft and it will work. How much does it need for OP? I'm not sure. Well, let's get it going. Hopefully we don't lose the enchant on this because that would be a bit of a pain. Uh, but we tested that, so that should be okay. So the bow is... 128 million OP. That's going to take a while. Uh, the next one I wanted to do was the um, staff. And the staff of power is this one. Requires three of these energy controllers here. Look at this. Actually, we could have done it straight away from a chaotic chart, but that's more expensive because you need four chaotic things. So we need one, two, three um, chaotic uh, energy controllers. And that, the recipe for those was basically a crafting, but we need these draconic cores. So we need three of the draconic cores in order to make that. And that's what the rest of this stuff was for, I'm sure of it. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second when it's done. So that's the crafting phase, crafting's done, and we now have our uh, chaotic bow. Fantastic. Let's have a look at this now, see what we need, what we can actually do with the chaotic bow with this one here. We've got another whole load of spaces in here which we can put more upgrades in. In fact, that's what, is that 12? So it's 6 by 8. So that's 12. Plus another six. That's another 20 spaces I reckon we've got in this one. Fantastic. So I'm going to be upgrading this between episodes. <laughs> to get it really nasty. And I'm also going to upgrade this one. So I'll get everything prepared for next time. While we're doing that, let's before just before we go, let's go and have a look quickly at the quests. Um, I'm not sure what button it is. Yes, it's that one. We'll just claim that some of the quests. I've done some more but seeds because I wanted to get some. I was thinking about doing this. So I've done these seeds in here like this. Um, I probably won't have enough claim everything. <laughs> right, so, oh, I actually got a wife and pickaxe for the claims in that one. I didn't intend to do this one, but I did, oh, magnum magnetizer. Actually, quite a lot of this stuff's pretty nice. Animal baby separator, I haven't built one of those. Mater material stonework factory, we've got a couple of those. Diamond crafter, that's actually pretty good. And I've got some bits sitting around on the floor. I'll go and put those away and come back. One of the things we got out of all of that was the um, a diamond crafter. The diamond crafter is quite neat. If you look at the recipe for this, it's extra from extra storage. This is basically a crafter that has more slots. So it's blocks of diamonds, these neutral processes, which we can all make this stuff, and a gold one. And a gold one is made with blocks of gold. In fact, I've already made an iron one. This is an iron crafter. So let's put down the gold one, uh, the diamond one here, and have a look at the difference. So this has got. 27 slots as, as you can see the diamond crafters have got um it looks like seven 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 nine 63 slots and the standard crafters got just nine slots so it's worthwhile doing these it saves a bit of space for certain and we have a lot more recipes we can then do the other stuff that we got was interesting was probably not really the manor reed not actually not we've got some more seeds we've got two of these uh, Ethereum helmets, which are actually quite good helmets. Um, can we recycle this? Let's have a look at the uses of these as it happens. Uh, no, we can't. We can't recycle those. Shame if, if we could, that was actually quite nice because this metal takes a lot to make. And we got some more basalt and appetite seeds, which I haven't in fact got, so they will in fact give us some more quests. Let's have a look at the quests again. So I'm only meant to collect these quests when I did that last time. Uh, industrial foregoing, I have got an, oh, baby animal separated, yes, okay, we'll claim that one. A yellow laser lens. I haven't done much with that. Um, but now Britannia's finished, we've completed all the quests on here. I did a lot of those. Uh, I haven't opened these dice of fate. I've got them all set up here. We'll do that next time because I've run out of time for today. 
So that's it for this episode. I hope you learned something new. I did. I realised I had to make 12 crafters. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.